Hello YouTubers, Custom Comments here with another review of the McFarlane Toy DC Multiverse Deathstroke. And as you can see, well anticipated. Been having some mixed feelings about YouTubers reviewing this figure. A lot of people don't like it. You got some think it's awesome. So of course, we're going to see how bad or how good he is. I'll give you my opinion on him after reviewing him. And as you can see, he's in the box already. Pretty effed up in a crazy, <laughs> a crazy way. Wow. He's all twisted up. And as you can see, 22 moving parts. My fallen toys, ages 12 and up. DT Multiverse, Deathstroke. Here is the calling card looking awesome. I do like the calling card. More figures in the wave. Okay. And this is Deathstroke, Batman, Arkham Origins. And we just reviewed the Arkham Knight Batman. But they will still look good together. Okay. So let's get this guy out and see how he is. And here is Deathstroke all out of package. And I must say, he looks pretty daggone good. Now the way some of the accessories work or... Some of the accessories we'll go over is a little questionable on what he chose how to do it, but overall, the figure looks great. Man. And Deathstroke is awesome. I'm already thinking about doing some customizing to bring out more, bring out the sculpt work more. Cause it's there. Just need some highlights in it. So yeah, but as you can see, I already gave some eyeliner bring out that them eyes more well that eye more you know made it look more like the calling card with the black around trim around his eye to, to separate the skin and the mask since they're both light colors gold and the skin tone thought I'd do a little trim to separate the two I think it came out pretty good but yes man he's looking dope let's look at the feet all that armor the back side, the pockets, his shells, all oh, that looks good, man. And of course, he has a gun in his holster, which you can't remove. I know a lot of people hate that. So, but it doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me at all. This thing is dope. And I heard a lot of people bash this figure, man. And I can honestly see what on their side of things, but my side of things, I'm looking at $19.99. I still think it's a lot for the price you're getting it for. Okay. So let's stick Deathstroke here. And we'll go over his accessories. Okay, and this is the, well, the base, okay? Standard base, as you see. You get a calling card, looking good, okay? There is a read up, you can pause that, read it if you like. Okay. This is the picture. I, I do like that picture. Nice calling card. And this is a little bit in question right here. I'm going to show you this right here. The sheath. Very soft plastic, rubber, whatever you want to call it. Very soft. But it's, it's not solid. It's like you cut it. Shit, it's like you cut it in half. Let me make sure I show you guys this. Okay, you get a good understanding. And the way you put the his katana or sword in is pretty crappy, if you ask me. You see, you put it here, and you have to sort of mash it in the groove. Which that's crappy, man. 
But first, before I show you how to put it all in, let's look at the sword, which is real soft. It's, that really don't bother me that much. Uh, it's just some stuff in question, though. But as you can see, nice detail on the handle. I can just see why there are people complaining. But, okay, in the sheath, you'll put the sword in this groove like that. And you have to sort of mash it in the groove, okay? So you're still going to see this from even when you put it on its backside. It, now, looking on the back, you will see it like this, but when it's like on here like this, you're going to see the sword. So let's stick this inside of here, and as you can see, it'll go inside this right here. You see that? We'll stick that in there like that. And it has a peg in its back, and this what goes in right here, okay? That doesn't stay in. I'm going to tell you, it, it pegs in right there. And that's what a lot of people complain about right here. You can still see the sword, katana. You can still see it like that. Instead of making a solid sheath. But over, it still doesn't. It's still cool with me. Because I still think you're getting a lot for the money. Even though you got weapons that doesn't. You can't remove like grenades, stuff like that. I still, this is a dope figure, man. Still, and yes, he has the ratcheted joints. And on another video, I'll show you guys the ankle joints. Cause I did take apart a figure and took the the ankle joint out, the uh, hinge, and took it apart. And I can show you, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about with that ratchet, them ratchet uh, joints. I'm going to show you exactly what the problem is about that, them hideous joints, man. But yes, overall, this guy's, it, it sculpted. <laughs> I love it, man. Still an awesome figure, man. I don't care. As you can see, all that detail, which I, I can highlight that one. Because a couple of months ago, I, I did the Hot Toys version of this. And boy, but Hot Toys is a $300 figure. Which this is a $19 figure. And it, honestly, it looks just, I'm not going to say good as a Hot Toy, but it's, it's good. It's real good. So, yes, I'm happy with this. Okay. So... In other words, let's get to some articulation, which I'll take the sheath out to go over that. Okay, so the head can't even look up that much. Okay, it can look down that much. I know you're gonna have a pivot, okay? And the same as Arkham Knight Batman, this Arkham Origins Deathstroke, you don't have upper torso. And you got waist though, okay? And uh, I've seen where people complain when you bend the waist or stomach down, it blocks, it's hitting the leg where you can't put the leg up. If you go back, then you can go up with the leg. That's a question. Uh, that's something to question about this whole thing too. Okay, so if I bend this uh, forward, which I, maybe I should have heated. And it does have ratcheting joints going to side to side. Okay, you can go back a little bit. Okay. Uh, you go forward that much it's not bad that's not bad at all but when you go forward I think this is going down hitting the legs and well they still go out to the side let me see 
Yeah. What the fuck, man? Right. It's still doing good. So, I watched a reviewer, I'm not going to call no names out, who most definitely said when you crunch this, you can't lift the legs up. And as you see, I'm easily doing that. So, sorry for going off another reviewer. Uh, what the fuck he said. We going to look at it. We doing this thing. Custom comments and us. We doing this thing. Okay. So, the legs can go out that far. Okay, not bad. And as you saw, crunched over and everything, his legs still go up. So I think somebody was just hating on the figure. He got double jointed knees, which he's real bulky, so you're not gonna get a true bend, double joint bend. But it's still good. Okay. Uh do you get any swivel? Very little. Okay. The arms. I'll do this arm since I got the shells, but you can still lift these shells up like that. So you can still go up pretty far. Still, even with the shells. So look at that. This thing is so dope. And I like it even more since I'm proving somebody else. I don't like proving somebody wrong, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, it easily, his legs kicked up while he was crunched, was crunched over easily okay shoulders go up that much you can go do full 360 and just like arkham knight batman these pads his shoulder pads are connected to his uh bicep which you get a true bicep swivel okay and you get double jointed elbows <clears throat> i need to break that one loose haven't broke that one loose yet let me see about this one. Yeah, that one's broke loose, as you can see. I just need to heat this one Ugh. and don't break it. Okay, and just a note, I did have to throw heat to this leg because like you've seen in the package, it was warped bad. I guess by being in a package like that so long. So I did have to throw heat to this leg to straighten it out, but now he's good. But yeah, this Deathstroke is, he's nice, nice. Uh, other than the ratchet joints, but so he he still stands pretty good, be honestly, be honest with you. Okay, so this is real soft. As you can see all the definition in the backside. Okay, let's lock this up a little bit. Okay, I love this thing is sick. I like the the like gunmetal look here. He's dope, man. He's dope. Dope, man. Okay, so I think. Oh, of course I didn't go with the ankles, which are ratcheted. Okay, and but you have an ankle rocker, a little ankle rocker, even though he has these shield uh, ankle uh, protection, you still rock it a little bit. Okay, and you do have a toe hinge. Make sure you see that. So, I'm very happy with this purchase. I'm very happy. I still think you're getting a lot for the money. Yeah, you can't. You can't beat the prices of what McFarlane's selling these things for. You can't. You just can't. So, is it a perfect figure? No. But for $19.99, I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. All day. All motherfucking day. Alright, we're going to put this sheath and katana in. Peg that in right there. And we're gonna do a height measurement on this guy. Get him standing good. Just throw this. Ready to kick some Batman ass. Okay. Let's get him standing back here. Damn, this thing is dope. Dope, man. 
and you have a ball hinge wrist sorry about that you do have a ball hinge wrist okay so I'm a little excited for getting a little bit of stuff I just want to explain make sure I explain stuff to y'all boy I seen some people hating on this figure man alright so Deathstroke will stand about seven inches tall or a little bit over okay and it is time for some size comparisons and to show you how the sword looks in his hand I'm gonna tell you now the hands are not as soft pliable as you would like and this sword handle is see it's pretty thick okay so let's try to open up his hands I might end up warming them and that's what I'm gonna do cuz I'm gonna either scrape some paint off or mess up something okay be right back and as you can see he holds the sword just fine he can hold the sword it's like I said I had to warm him up to get the sword in his hand but yes, he does hold the sword fine. And as you see, he stretches his legs out pretty far too. I see it. No one what you're working with. With some uh, ratcheted joints. I mean, it's doable. And most definitely, this is not a perfect figure. But for the price, I'm most definitely happy with it. Okay. Okay, and the first size comparison will be with the Hot Toys. And I'm going to tell you, like I said, yes, Hot Toys is Hot Toys. You get the crazy, crazy detail, man. But you're going to pay for this one. You're going to pay for all that. You know what I'm saying? $19 figure beside a $270 figure. Okay. It's, it's, God, I can't get... And honestly... Looking at the Hot Toys, I like the shape of the head on the McFarlane better because I've heard complaints on the Hot Toys too that his face looked a little too narrow. And looking at it now, of course it's still awesome as hell. I wouldn't have got it but if it wasn't. But whew, as you can see the detail on this thing, I'm going to leave you back here, man, because you're just too damn big. It is awesome, but look at this. Still awesome, man. Clear up. So yeah, still I do like this head. It's the shape of the head better. I think it's better. It's proportion better. And looking at that, yes, his coming down here is a little slim. I still like it, but you know what I'm saying. Almost $300 figure. $19 figure. So. Very awesome steel. Okay. And here he is with the Arkham Knight Batman. That we just did a review on yesterday. And they're looking awesome together. And Batman might be a little bit taller as he should be I believe okay awesome and here he is with the builder figure merciless and the infected Superman and boy they all look good together merciless is a whole lot bigger and I believe Deathstroke is a little bit taller than Superman okay awesome and here he is with a NECA Lab Escape Predator. And as you can see, Predator is towering over Deathstroke. But I still think that looks good. Okay. And here he is with the SH Fig Arts Infinity War Hulk. Looking awesome. The Hulk towers over him. Deathstroke. Okay. 
And here he is with the Mezco BVS Batman, the regular version. And as you can see, they're not in scale. True six inch, true seven inch. Okay. And here he is with my favorite Joker figure, Joker Rebirth. Looking awesome. As you can see, they are standing about the same height. And here he is with the Marvel Legends series MCU Cable, which he towers over, and the Storm Collectible Tyson, the last round version. And he is a little bit taller than Tyson. Okay. And here he is with the large Devastator. And Devastator is most definitely taller bigger okay but i think it looks good together would have been a little bit better if devastator was a little bit taller but still looks good okay and here he is with the grim knight batman and i think they look awesome together i think they look about the same height still one of my favorite batman this this thing is so dope And last but most definitely not least, the Super 7 Lion O. And I believe he is standing a little bit taller than Lion O. Okay. So, guys, my final thoughts on this Deathstroke is from a scale 1 to 10, I'm going to give him a 9.5. That's only because the sheath, how they split it half like that where you can still see his sword from the back like but other than that this thing is dope man dope and some reason he stands better than batman with them crazy ankles but this thing is so dope very awesome figure okay all right everyone well if you got any questions or requests hit me up in the comments hit me up on instagram and i'll be sure to get back with you okay all right everyone this is custom comments signing out take care god bless peace